Hi everyone, I'm here with Lucy from Essential Families UK again and she is going to show me and us how to make um, some soap, foaming hand soap. Over to you. I am indeed. So, <laughs> what I have here is, and this is what you need because it won't work otherwise, it'll just kind of dribble out, is you need a foaming action pump bottle. Um, this is a empty Thieves hand soap, so Thieves hand soap from Young Living. Um, this is an empty bottle of that, but you can buy any foaming hand soap and when it's all gone, don't throw your bottle away, do this. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is take our empty bottle and the first thing we're going to add in is one third of a cup of Castile soap. So where, where can I buy this from, Lucy? I got that from um, Amazon. I get everything from Amazon. I like it when my shopping comes to my front door. Um, but you can also buy it from um, some of the health shops on the high street I've seen it in. Um, and is there a particular brand that you would recommend or is any Castile soap good enough? I've only ever used Dr Bronner's because I bought that the first time and I liked it. So that's good. This one is actually... Um, has peppermint in it, peppermint fragrance in it, I would recommend that you get the unfragranced one because okay. we're going to be adding in our awesome oils. Anyway, I love peppermint, I can't get enough peppermint, but um, it doesn't need to be already scented with anything. This is just what I've got in stock cool. right now. Okay. So um, we need to add in a third of a cup of that. Sorry, am I that doing is, it? No, I don't, I don't mind. I mean, I'll just be a... Assistant. All the way to the top. Yeah. Obviously, if your uh, container is bigger or smaller, you can add in like two thirds. Oh, I'm spilling it. It's okay. Oh, you can move some. Two thirds of a cup um, in that, and then you're going to want to add in about fifteen to twenty drops of essential oils. So. I always make mine with thieves because I have kids and kids are germy and when they do wash their hands you want to make sure that they do it good. So thieves is great for that. So I always add in thieves so let's put in like eight of thieves. Mm -hmm. other, thing, other oils that would be good to use, um, lavender is really good because it's great for your skin as is Roman chamomile, frankincense, they're all just good things. Um, for your skin, especially because the hands get dry because we wash them a lot and chapped in the air. But I always put in thieves and then just something else that I like the smell of. So we're going to put in tangerine as well. So we put in eight of those. You don't have to be like, you know, super strict about the amount of oil, just some in there. Remember, they're really concentrated. Um, so they don't, it doesn't make them less effective if they're more diluted, but I just hit around 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is fill your container up with water. Some people use distilled water. I use tap water. It's, it's up to you. I'm fancy. <laughs> cool. Pop your lid on. Give it a shake. And that just mixes your Castile soap and your water and your oil all together. And then what should happen when you wash your hands and you use your soap, you should get a foam. Yay! Yes. Okay, so... That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. So easy. So that's how I make foaming hand soap. Um, it's super easy. The bottles of Castile soap are not expensive. It's really concentrated. So it will last you ages and cool. It's fun because it foams and that's cool. Yay! And that's it. That's how we make hand soap. Thanks, Lucy. You're welcome. <laughs>